Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, in today's video, I will walk you through every option of the Pathfinder in Adobe Illustrator, step by step, we are almost 100k subscriber, don't forget to subscribe, and if you want to get notified every time when I upload, activate the notification bell icon. And if you want to suggest a tutorial topic, go to the new community tab, and write your suggestion below my comment. Thank you and have a nice watching. The first option is Unite, it's meant to combine shapes. For example, I want to make a cloud from these four circles. So I overlap all the circles on each other. Select everything. Then go to Pathfinder, and press on Unite. All the circles are merged together to form a cloud shape. The second option is minus front. It meant to subtract shapes. If I drag this circle here, you can see that the white one is in the back. So, if I select the two circles together, and from the pathfinder, I click on minus front. The intersection of the two circle will be subtracted, and the front circle will be deleted. And I got a croissant shape. The third option is intersect, I'll use it to make a leaf shape. So if I intersect these two circles, select it together. You can see that the intersection form a lead shape. When you go to the pathfinder and you click on intersect, the intersection will be left, and everything else will be deleted. And I get my leaf shape. The fourth option is exclude. When I drag this circle here, and select the two circles, when I go to the pathfinder, and click on exclude, the intersection of the two shapes will be excluded, and everything else will remain. The fifth option is divide. I intersect the two circles and select it together, When I go to the pathfinder, and click on divide, the two circles will be divided along the intersecting lines, and when I right click, and ungroup it, I will find that every part is divided apart. In fact I only use this first five options because it is the most useful, but I will explain the rest anyway. The sixth option is trim, I intersect the two circles, you can see that the white circle is in front. I select the two circles. And when I go to the pathfinder and click on trim, the intersection will be trimmed from the back circle and the front circle will remain. The seventh option is merge. This two circles with different color, and one of them have a stroke. When I intersect the two circles, and from the pathfinder, I click on merge. Any stroke will be deleted, and the intersection will be trimmed from the back circle and the front circle will remain. These two circles have the same color, and one of them have a stroke. I intersect the two circles, select it together, and when I click on merge, any stroke will be deleted, and any overlapped shapes with the same color will be merged. The eighth option is crop. I intersect the two circles. Select it together. And when I go to the pathfinder and click on crop, it will crop the back circle to where it overlaps the front shape. The ninth option is outline. Intersect the two circles. Select it together. And when I click on outline, the two circle will turn to an outline. Right click, and click on ungroup. 
you will find that every line is divided apart. Finally, the minus back option. Intersect the two circles, select it together. Go to the pathfinder and click on minus back. The intersection will be subtracted from the front circle, and the back circle will be deleted. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me anything in the comment section. See you in another video.